Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Switzerland episode. By the way, get a Geography Now mug or Geography Now merchandise at geographynow.com. It's not selling out and if it's your brand. A lot of things we missed out on the episode. <laughs> For one, there was a little skit that Hannah and Ian did explaining how uh, <laughs> sometimes if you're from a specific linguistic group, it can kind of go down like this. You are you're silly! You're, 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 you don't have any- Shut up, you German! <gasps> well, shut up, you Frenchie! <gasps> Yeah, don't ever call the Swiss a German or French or whatever. Second, Switzerland takes speeding very seriously. There are like speed trackers everywhere you go. And the thing is, if you get a ticket, it is based off of your income. And it's funny because like Germany has the Autobahn where there's like no speed limit, although they're kind of working on regulating that now. So it's like when Germans come into Switzerland, it's like, Technically, Switzerland doesn't have universal health care, but in the same regard, you're not allowed to not have insurance. So it's like everybody has their own privatized system and insurance companies are not allowed to reject you. If you're too poor for insurance, the government will step in and subsidize your insurance plan. Dog ownership is taxed. And for some species of animals, you are required to buy them in pairs. You're not allowed to have like hamsters or guinea pigs to be alone with just one. We did mention how Switzerland was famous for their mercenaries, but they were very famous specifically for their fighting style. Herman explained it in the video, but I had to cut it out for time. Basically, they took notes from the ancient Romans and they did the shield formation with the pikes and the spears and the halberds. Swiss people loved using halberds. And finally, in Switzerland, you will find that most people actually prefer to rent homes rather than own them because the tax rates for home ownership are super high. In any case, there's a lot of other information we could have put in the episode, but didn't have time for. If there's anything else I missed, please write it in the comments. Otherwise, we gotta move on. So without further ado. <laughs> By the way, thank you Katya and Matteo for hosting us while we filmed the Switzerland episode. By the way, Matteo, I spelled your name wrong. There's two T's, not one. All right, so let's move on to the flag. And this is going to be a very quick and simple episode because it's kind of just, you get what you see with Switzerland. The flag of Switzerland is a simple square red banner with a square white cross in the middle, making it one of the only two sovereign flags to be of exact one-to-one -one ratio square size. Now, of course, the cross stands for Christianity, but the origin of the colors and the shape and the configuration are kind of shrouded in mystery. There's actually three legends that kind of claim the origin of the flag. But essentially, the old Swiss confederation started to join up with all its cantons, and they needed something to identify them as a whole unit. The canton of Schwyz was the first first one to kind of use the red and white cross configuration and over time this image evolved over the country and became kind of known for the country as a whole. Now like here's the deal, I know you subscribers, you're kind of like me, you're kind of like just get to the point. I don't have to know all the exact dates and times and blah blah blah. So the point is the old confederation was called the confederation Helvetica but they didn't really call themselves Helveticans and a lot of people from outside were like eh, what do we call you? At some point outsiders were just kind of like hey it's Schwitz and they're the rest. So that's kind of how Switzerland got their name. It was kind of derived from the canton of Schwitz. Although people will argue and say that's not how it happened, but I mean, Schwitz, Switzerland, Switzerland. Eh, you make the decision. Now, of course, there was a brief time when Napoleon kind of like invaded and they switched up their flag for like a few years. But other than that, the red flag and white cross has pretty much been their unifying symbol for centuries. Now, here's the thing. We could do a coat of arms segment, but the coat of arms is just the same thing. So there's really not too much to explain there, but what would be interesting to mention would be the Canton flags and Canton coat of arms. In fact, let's go through them. Bern has a bear, Uri has a bull's head, Glarus has a pilgrim walking with a Bible, the Basil Cantons have a croissier, which is basically like a staff that a bishop holds, Schafthausen has a ram, St. Gallen has a fasces, Grisson has an ibex, Neuchâtel looks like Italy, but it's totally not Italy, Geneva has half of the Holy Roman Empire eagle with a key, the Walden Canton Cantons both have keys, but Niedvolten's like, mine's bigger. Like, honestly, we don't have time to get into each of them, but they're pretty interesting. Look them up. But the point is, very often you will see the Swiss coat of arms in conjunction to like an image of all the other Canton coat of arms as well. They like to kind of put all of them together just to kind of show that there is unity amongst the people in Switzerland. Anyway, let's move on. There's only one thing left in this episode. You know what time it is. It's time for Geography Fan Mail Time. All right, guys, welcome back. And as you know, we always have to have a guest star. This week, it's going to be my mom. Hi. Mom, you've done this before. You know how to do this. First oh, start. Oh, no, teach me. Oh, come on, you've done this before. Postcards. Um, this is from the Vancouver Aquarium. I don't know who sent this, but your postcard broke in half. It's made out of wood. There's a picture of an otter on it. What was on the other's half, and what did you write? I don't know. I got this 
card. I just watched the uh, Sun episode and it was amazing. The pictures is a my school. Currently living in Ken Kenya again. I mm. sent a postcard before of the myself in Mountain Kenya. If you remember. Oh, you yeah. are having a good day. This is from uh, Rohan. I am an Indian student studying in the Netherlands and I've been following your lovely content for over three years. Keep up the great work. This card is from a nice place, Bruges, and there's another card from the Museum of Military History in Brussels. Hi, Bart. Love your channel. We are musicians from Toronto, Canada. And this, this is the best restaurant in the city. Layover in Rio is the name of the restaurant? Maybe it's a Brazilian restaurant in Toronto? I don't know. You just said your name is Sorority Sisters, so I don't know. All right, this one is from Liechtenstein. Oh, we, yeah, we went there. I like the card. Thanks to your episode on your beloved little Liechtenstein, we added a day here and it really is quite lovely. Thank you for all you do from Meek. Meek, M-Y-K, I think that's your name. You remember that country much? We didn't do much. We were only there for like one hour. Yeah, but it's <laughs> very kind of um, small but beautiful country. I, really, I just remember. Greeting from the Nau Nauru. Mm -hmm. Dang, Nauru. Geography Now team. Hope that you can make it out here one day. I'm the only American in the island country. Miguel. Okay. Jeez. Miguel, I believe you are the only second person to send us a postcard from Nauru. Crazy. Only like less than a thousand people visit Nauru every year. It the looks native. like a Hawaiian. Kind of. Yeah. It's, it's Polynesia. Maybe we should go to Nauru. Sure. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hey, Barbs, I sent you frosty greetings from Umana oh, Umanak. I'm actually a geography student from Germany who's been watching your videos for many years. I'm currently doing an internship in the children's home where in Umanak, which is considered the northernmost children home in the world, about 600 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Even Nanook has played here. What did you think of Greenland, Mom, when we went there? Oh, that's a, another planet. It is beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Mom, where's your painting? Can I show it? Oh, is that my exhibit? Oh, you left it at the exhibit. Damn it. I'm having art uh, exhibit. Mm. So my uh, piece of art is in there right now. I love to show you guys, but Ma I can't do that. My mom was so inspired from Ilulisat. She actually painted it and she has this really cool painting. She put it in an exhibit. I'm so proud of you, mom. Thank you. Uh, I have another postcard. My name is Diego and I'm Chilean American. I recently drove down the Keys with our friends and had a breast downing rum and the cokes what he did shots of rum <laughs> anyways i enjoy the series keep up the good work geography now crew unfortunately i was unable to find kangaroos in austria this trip was a total ripoff <laughs> jokes aside beautiful city despite the absurd prices of everything cheers from your avid brazilian fan pedro fun fact one of you guys actually sent me a shirt with that logo on it still have the no kangaroos in Austria shirt. By the way, mom, remember that time we had that really bad waiter in Lindau? Waiter is maybe had a, not a good time that time, so mm. he was so rude to us. What did he do? <laughs> uh, we ordered some stuff and then he brought the something else and then we were trying to pay with the card. He said he doesn't accept the card. Well, we definitely want to uh, visit German one more time. Yeah. Kind of clean out the, my bad feeling that day. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was okay. not a good day. Yeah, I love German. Yeah, especially Berlin. You want to go to Berlin? Uh huh. And then I want to have your beer and then <laughs> and then sausage. I love that. All right, I okay, have another card. <laughs> okay. Hi, Paul. It's Craig, Craig and Mark riding from the another of the, our favorite destination island, Cape Breton. We have been uh, driving, hiking this hilly, rocky, colorful place. All the trees are changing colors oh wow so yeah i actually met craig and mark a few years ago craig is actually one of my patreon patrons craig you are one of the og subscribers i'm so glad we got to meet thank you craig for your long time subscribership this is from croatia hey barbs hope you read my postcard uh i'm from zagreb but currently spending my vacation days on the island of vis or vish you should visit if you get a chance <gasps> Oh, yeah. Wow, that's so beautiful. The <gasps> coast of Croatia. Fun fact, Zagreb has secret tunnels underneath the city. Package. I have been watching since the South Korea episode. My great uh, grandfather was born in um, Damascus, uh, Syria. I gave you a... Uh, what's that? Martinica. Martinica. My great 
grandpa is Bulgarian, so that's why I made you a uh, Maltanese check. Cool. What is the meaning of this? They, so every springtime, they put these on trees. That's cute. Very popular in Bulgaria and mm. some other countries. So this one is uh, from, I'm sorry, I cannot read Vietnamese letters and get them properly, but it looks like Din Tan. These are some postcards from my home country and three others that me and my mom visited. Cambodia, Singapore, and Malaysia. Where do you want to go to next, mom? Um, if you could go anywhere in the world. Thinking about uh, visiting Thailand or Vietnam, something that's interesting. Maybe we should go to Thailand for the Thailand episode. Mm -hmm. Any you Thai subscribers want to meet up? Maybe we can make that happen. Hey Barb's and Geography Now. I'm from Stratford upon Avon. Lots of historical sites and one of the greatest theaters, the theater groups in the English speaking world. I'm excited for the UK episode. It's going to be a big one. I love British food, by the way. Beef Wellington, meat pies, Yorkshire pudding. British food tastes like it's made from a happy grandma living in a cottage in the forest. <laughs> from the Lowry, I was inspired by your videos during the pandemic. When the COVID lockdown hit Canada, I got through most of your video. One thing led to another and I end up self-publishing this coloring book. Wow. That's really cool. She did it by herself. She did it by herself, All yeah. Design. Proceeds go to Doctors Without yes. Borders. Thank you so much for uh, sending this. Hey Barb's and the Geography Now family, I wanted to share some postcards with you from places uh, I went. So you went to a lot of museums. I've thrown in a map notebook also. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if you you don't want it, I'll keep it. Why not? You yeah. like to draw. By the way, guys, check this out. She got bored one day and just drew five-year-old me. What do you think? I think it's a, uh, I don't know, you kind of messed up over here and you kind of could have done better over here. You, you always assume that it's to me. So I got this sent to me and I realized it's from Unity Shirts. Ruba, you remember her, she was in the Sudan episode with her cousin Methani. She finally made Togo and she sent it to me. I'll wear it right now. Hold on, give me a second. And if you guys would like to support Ruba, go to unityshirtshop.com. Oh, hi, Ruba. Hmm. How are you? How was your trip? She went to Puerto Rico because she was making a Puerto Rico shirt too. Want to take this, Mom? Oh, uh, you want to see this one? What's this? What is this? I think these are socks. Ray and Vanessa. Oh, you guys have sent us stuff many times before. Oh. We need this one. Vanessa and I lived 10 months working online in Albania. Uh, some of the nicest people anywhere in the world. Vanessa says hi, and we sent a box of random things from our one year in the Balkans, Albania and North Macedonia. I love getting updates from you guys. You guys have messaged us many times and sent us stuff before. I gotta meet you guys in person sometime. Another drink. Oh my gosh, they sent us liquor. Again! I think this is Albanian liquor. There's the double eagle thing on it. Um, I'm gonna do a shot of this. Just to honor you, Ray. Geography Now does not endorse underage drinking. If you are underage, do not drink. I am of age though, so I can drink. What is that? Well, thank you, Ray and Vanessa. We love you. You are so awesome. Thank you for sending all this crazy, ooh, the aftertaste ugh, hit me. <laughs> what is this Albanian stuff? Ooh, strong smell. Strong smell, yeah. Ooh. Oh God. So this box is actually sent for Noah. I promised him he could open it for the next Fan Friday episode because this is for him, okay? This is the last box. What's this? Oh, flag of Nevada. No letters. There's no letter. Oh, shot glass. Shot glass. <laughs> Perfect for this. Shot glass. Another shot glass. Shot glass. And another shot glass. And uh, Lake Tahoe magnet and Reno, Nevada magnet. Saul, uh, thank you for the Nevada stuff. I guarantee you I probably will be using these shot glasses pretty soon. Yeah, you didn't send a letter. Who are you, Who are you, Saul? All right, well, that's it. This is really cool. Thank you for putting all these countries and stuff on highlight. Uh, really appreciate your support for Geography Now. Mom, anything you want to say to the subscribers? Well, I have a... Happy Thanksgiving Day and a Merry Christmas. Not everybody, but some of them who is a celebrate that one. Yeah. Okay, see you next time. Okay. Hope you guys have a good one. Stay cool, stay tuned.